guinea pigs six months and up. They should have one eighth of a cup of nuggets each day per guinea pig. Sprinkling forage on top is good as it encourages them to behaviour. You can easily make your own forage with dried leaves that they can eat or rose petals. A big handful of salad should also be fed daily. A good salad to feed every day, though it is good to vary, consists of a leafy vegetable such as romaine lettuce or kale and a product of vitamin C, for example, bell pepper, red cabbage, parsley, cauliflower, chicory, papaya, spinach and peas. This is essential for your guinea pig as it is vitamin they can't produce by themselves. If your guinea pig is deprived of vitamin C, they might show signs such as lethargy, poor hair coat, swellings or sores around the mouth or lips, delayed wound healing, loss of appetite, difficulty moving, enlarged joints or even teeth loss. Fruits such as apple, banana, grapes, pineapple, orange rind and flesh, strawberries and many more are loved by guinea pigs which should be fed once a week to avoid cavities. Pregnant or nursing guinea pigs Pregnant or nursing guinea pigs will either be carrying babies as she needs to feed or producing milk from her pups. They need a lot more food. You should provide plenty of vitamin C and lots of alfalfa hay. These sows will drink lots more water than usual and eat hay, so don't get worried if you see that. However, if you aren't sure if your sow is pregnant and she drinks a lot more water than usual, it could be because of a medical issue, unless of course it's just a bit hotter than usual and they get thirsty. Newborn guinea pigs. If you have newborn guinea pigs, don't worry, they are born precocial, they can eat solid foods from 24 hours after being born, so you should give them foods high in vitamin C and alfalfa hay. Until the age of 6 months, they should have nuggets or pellets available at all times, even if this means exceeding one eighth of a cup. As for the liquids, they usually stop drinking their mum's milk around 4 to 6 weeks, as well as drinking water. The water bottle should be positioned so that neither the mum or the baby should have to turn their heads to drink water, but so they should look up to the bottle because then it provides them with a straight passage through the esophagus. If you have any further queries, feel free to ask in the comments and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. I'm also open to any constructive criticism in the comments.